Our next question is about cheesecakes. This is another probability distribution. Now, a lot of the probability distributions were printed vertically that had lots of rows. This one is horizontal, has lots of columns. If I copy and paste with control V, you'll notice there's these uh, black lines that show up and I don't really like that. So I'm gonna do control shift V and that prints that paste without the format. If you wanted to do a vertical, I'm going to go right click, paste special. Hmm. All right, that was not really what I wanted. Let's, and this should be down, All right? So let's copy this, control C. Right click, okay, this, these are the options I was looking for. There's uh, the transpose. What that does, it takes columns and turns them into rows and takes rows and turns them into columns. So this first row gets flipped to this column and same thing happened here. So I like to view it in columns because most questions are in columns. So I'm going to just use this version right here. All right, first thing to notice, there's a blank. So we need to figure that out. Just like the other tables, I'm gonna do the sum function. Now we may have an issue because it says uh, dot, 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 question mark, and I, add, I told it to add that up, but I believe Excel treated that like it was zero. I'm just gonna delete it out of there just to be you know double sure here. So there we go, that's what the sum is. So I need to put a number in here so it adds up to one. Now this math is not too hard. Uh, I think it's 0.22, but just in case it's your numbers are more difficult, I'm just doing one minus that probability, enter. That number goes right here. Okay. So that I filled in the blank right there. Let's go ahead and answer some questions. Probability of selling 15 in a day. Px equals 15. I'm missing a parenthesis. All right, probability x is 15. All right, this is only 15 right here. It did happen to be the one that was missing. And this is 22, uh, 0.22. I would definitely be incorrect if I said 22, 0.22. All right, next up, probability of selling at least 10. All right, at least 10. Now, one thing to notice, this number of cheesecakes sold, it looks like nobody buys one, two, three, or four cheesecakes. You either buy zero or five. And in this question, it's, there are, people are either buying 0, 5, 10, 15, or 20. Nobody's buying two cheesecakes. So this one, probability at least 10. Probability, this is x greater than equal to 10. So 10 is okay and more is okay. So x greater than or equal to 10. This is going to be another sum. And we're going to sum up 10, 15, and 20. All these probabilities. 0.39, submit that. Okay, probability five or 15. Now you have to be careful. This one is not between five and 15. This is five or 15. So we can use the sum here, but we're not adding up all of these right here because we're only doing five and 15. So how do I highlight the first one and this other box here? So I left click the first one, I'm going to control left click the second one. Uh, so I'll do that again. Left click the first one, hold down control and left click. So that's how you select multiple places. If you select too many, uh, oops. I thought I'd be able to, all right. 
you select too many, apparently you just have to start over. So I'm just left clicking the original one there. I could even start here, left click, control left click. You can also type B9 comma B7, parentheses, enter. So again, it's just five or 15, it's both of them added together. That uses the sum rule. So the or means you add the two probabilities together. Okay, probability of 25. So easy to write down, P X equals 25. Okay, nobody buys 25 cheesecakes because it's not in the table here. And if it's not on the table, uh, it never happens. I'm not saying nobody can ever buy more than 20 cheesecakes, but on this, in this scenario, nobody's buying 25 cheesecakes. So that means if I had 25 here, in order for this to be a probability distribution, there has to be a zero here. So the probability will be zero. There we go. Last up, probability of selling at most 10 cheesecakes. So that's P, X. So 10 is okay. So you can equal 10 and anything less. All right, selling at most 10, this is gonna be another sum. We have to add up 10 and I'm holding down left click up to here. You can also just left click once, shift, left click. So it's B6 to B8, enter, 0.7. Okay, so that is cheesecake.